At least 21 Iraqis were killed. Iraq's military is also fighting al-Qaeda extremists in the city of Fallujah. Today, a human rights group accused those Iraqi forces of firing mortars into civilian areas. Elizabeth Palmer is in Baghdad for us tonight following all of this. Liz? Good evening. Well, Fallujah is sealed off, but people can talk to us by telephone, and they say things have been pretty calm today, and the al-Qaeda-linked extremists have melted away, either into the outskirts or maybe into the countryside. Anyway, say local people, the threat they posed was always very much exaggerated. Al-Qaeda was an excuse, say the locals, for Prime Minister Maliki's Shia-controlled army to attack Sunni tribes in Anbar province. These are the two main branches of Islam in Iraq, and they're engaged in a major power struggle. Sunni tribal leaders who say they're persecuted by the Shia-led government are fighting back. Take a look at these men. They may look like Islamic extremists, but they're actually Sunni tribesmen from Anbar who have controlled this region for generations. And they've been attacking the Iraqi army convoys this week to make it crystal clear the military should stay out of their towns or there will be war. This is the kind of violence that can easily spiral out of control. That's a concern to the United States, which has contracted to sell arms to the Iraqi government, including F-16 fighter aircraft and attack helicopters. And there's no guarantee they wouldn't be used to inflame what is already a very volatile situation. Liz Palmer in Baghdad for us.